In this video, we are going to talk about stories, not Instagram stories, not even Facebook and WhatsApp stories, but we will be talking about Google web stories coming up. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv. Today we are talking about stories and the new thing here is that we will be talking about Google stories. We all know and we all love using Instagram stories or Facebook stories and for WhatsApp stories as well. But there is a new thing in the market. Not exactly new thing. These were earlier known as AMP stories. But now Google is pushing really hard on it. And recently they have launched a plugin which you can use to create Google web stories right in your WordPress websites. If you are not familiar with Google Web Stories, then these are almost similar like Instagram or the Facebook stories we see all over. And we know how powerful these stories are as far as content marketing is concerned. So Google thought why not use that same concept and implement it on Google search results. So they launched AMP Stories which are now known as Google Web Stories. And the new thing is they have recently launched a WordPress plugin which you can use to create stories right in your WordPress websites. So first of all, let's see what exactly these web stories are. Google web stories are mobile focused, visually rich and small stackable content that you can find via Google search engine or discover tab in your mobile phones. Along with that, these Google web stories will be available on Google image search as well. Now let me show you one of the Google web stories that I have created on my website so that you can get an idea about how it works and how it actually looks. So this is how a Google web story looks like and as you can see this is almost similar to any Instagram story or any Facebook story but these web stories are available on Google search, on discovery tab or of your mobile devices and on Google image search as well. So let's see how these stories are created on WordPress website. Now to download the WordPress plugin to create these Google web stories, you need to visit this Google GitHub website. This plugin right now is in beta version, so it is not available on WordPress repository of plugins. So you need to go to this URL. From there, you can go ahead and click on this download beta version. Now, once you click on download, you will get the zip file of the plugin, which you need to upload on your WordPress website in the plugin section. Now, once you download the plugin, all you need to do is go back to your WordPress admin section. And from there, you need to go to plugins and click on add new. From there, we will click on upload plugin. And then we will choose the file with which we have downloaded right now. And once you upload the file, we need to click on install now. Once the plugin gets installed, you will get a notification to activate the plugin. And once the plugin is activated, you will see a new option in your WordPress backend that is stories. Just like we normally create our WordPress posts, these stories are new type of posts inside your WordPress website. So when we go to these stories, we have our dashboard where we will see all the stories that we have created. And below that, we will get a list of all the stories. As you can see, this is very similar to the normal WordPress post. We see all the list of stories that we have published. And if we go to dashboard, we will see a complete new dashboard where we can see and create our new stories. Now, as you can see, I have already created two stories here. And if you wish to create a new story, you need to click on new story and it will open up a new interface where you can just drag and drop the content and create a new story for your website. And if you don't know how to design a story layout, you can always go ahead and explore the templates which are already ready made for you. You can just go ahead and import them and use them to create stories on your website. So let me show you a quick tour of how I have created a Google story using this plugin on my website. So we go to my stories and from there I will go ahead and create a new story so that I can show you the interface right from the scratch. Now this is the screen you will see when you are trying to create a new story. Now if you have ever used platforms like Canva or Sorello or any other graphic creation programs or available on internet. This interface is very much similar to that. 
all you have to do is just drag and drop the content on this canvas and your story will be created. Let me show you how it is done. For example, we will take it as a story tutorial. We will use the title as maybe demo story. We'll save it a draft. Now let's go ahead and change the background color here. So we'll change the background color of this story slide like this. Now if you wish to add a text, we'll go to text and we have a heading, subheading and body text. So let's go ahead and add a heading first. Make sure you look at these margins on the top and the bottom and enter all the stuff between them. Now once the heading is done, you can always go ahead and add an image to it. So here's the image and you can just go ahead and drag it to the full layout of the slide. And if you wish, you can also choose this image to be used as background of this whole slide or the whole story page. You have to click on the set background and this image will be set as a background image for this particular story slide. So now you can go ahead and adjust your text accordingly. And if you look at on these right hand side, you have an option to align these text or all the elements to the uh, to left, right or center as per your requirement. And you can also adjust the size and you can also rotate this text. Below that, you can also go ahead and change the font. I think right now it's looking perfect. Let me just go ahead and rotate it back. And from here, you can change the color of this text and you can also add a highlight. Now, if you have used Instagram stories, this highlight thing is very much similar to that. It will add a little background to the text. So you can change the color of this background from this color option. And if we go ahead and check the properties below, you can also give a link to this text, just like any normal post that we write. We can give link to any text. So here is the option to add a link. And once you have more than one element on a slide or on the story page, you can always arrange those elements, which one will show on top and which one will show on at the bottom from here. It will always, it will create multiple layers of elements which you will add on your story page. So let me show you add a new element here. Let's say if we add a graphic like this. Now if I move it here, right now it's showing on top of my text. So I need to arrange the layer accordingly so that it, the text at the background will be visible. So all I need to do is select this layer and drag it below my text. Now as you can see, the text is now on the top layer and the shape is behind that. So this is how you can arrange various elements on this editor to create a full and final story. Now if you want, you can go ahead and duplicate this whole slide or create a blank slide for you. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this page. So now you see we have two tabs here, which shows that your story your complete story now have two pages or two slides. Once again, you can go ahead and change the text or whatever you want on this page to be added. And let's say we add a new blank slide. So this will create three slides here. So on this slide, we will add a, just a random shape to give it a finish. And all these properties are just very similar to what we have seen uh, normally on WordPress or any image editing program. So let's go ahead and save draft. Now, if you take a look at there is an option, it says document, which will define the whole property of this post or this story post. So you can see that this is very similar to our WordPress post. You have an option of visibility as draft, public and private. So once you publish this story, it will be changed to public. And again, we have the publishing date, just like our normal WordPress post. The new thing here is the publisher logo and the cover image. The cover image is very similar to what we have in WordPress post as feature image. 
but this is a cover image which will be acting as a thumbnail which will show up in the Google search results and I'll show you how it works. And in the publisher logo, you need to add the brand logo which will be visible in the search result as well. Below that, we have the permanent link. So this is the slug that we need to create for our story. So this is the permanent link of our story. We can go ahead and change it to anything as per our SEO benefits. And below that, we have the page advancement. This is something new for specifically for stories that how much time you wish one single page of story to be played. So here I'll enter maybe 10 seconds and it will be an auto slide. So my story will get auto played. And if you choose it to be manual, you need to tap on left and right on story page to navigate through the story pages. So this is a quick view of how a Google story will be created using the WordPress plugin. So once you hit publish, your story will get published as a post on your WordPress website with a unique URL. Now, as we know that these web stories will be visible on Google search result. So let me show you how these search results will look like. Now, once you have created a Google web story, you can go ahead and test these stories in AMP test tool so that you can get an idea how these web stories will be available on Google search result. So here is an example of how your web stories will look like on different search results on Google. So here you can see that the Google will be showing a full fledged poster which we have uploaded. You will see that there is an icon of story below this and your story will also be visible on Google answers and your story will be also visible on top stories. So these are the options where Google will be showing your stories. Now, once you publish your Google web story, it will always get a URL like your website address, then stories and then your permanent link that you have selected while publishing your story. So make sure you always use this URL for sharing your stories on anywhere on your website or on any social media. And just to add here that these web stories you can use to embed on any blog post or anywhere on your website. And you can also embed web stories from anywhere on the internet on your website. It's just like embedding a video on from YouTube or from Facebook on your website. So you can go ahead and look for any story from any website and you can use that in your website itself. So let me show you a cool way that how you can add these stories in your website. If you go to my website ankitsharma.tv, you will see a new story tab on the top. So if you go to the home page on the top, you have the banner and just below that we have the two stories that we have created. Now you can play around with the layout. I'm sure this is not the best one. So I'm also playing around with this story layout and how I can use it on my website to give it a unique look here. So these are the two stories that I have created and I thought to give it a look like a Facebook story. So we have the thumbnail here with the text below it and once we click on any of these stories, it will open up the URL of the story and it will start showing the slides of the story that we have created. So this is another example that I have created using the same WordPress plugin and just I have just designed these story background to give it an eye catching look and that's the whole purpose of these stories. It has to be visually very rich. So this is how you can use Google Web Stories and embed them on various places on your website and of course get traffic from Google. Now this is not just the only way to create stories for your website. There are other third party tools available online which you can use to create stories for your website. And I'll show you these tools in the next video. And I will also show you how I have added these stories on my website and how you can do that too. So stay tuned for the next video and for that make sure you subscribe to this channel. So I'll see you in the next one.